What was it like when you said, all right, I'm going to start ginseng creative? What took you from, I'll do some work on the side, you know, um, to it's time to really start a business and make this happen? Sure. Well, um, you know, I wouldn't have been able to start the business if I didn't have all of the things in place. Like, I feel like there's an appropriate time to do things and the timing was right. And that's what really was most important because I didn't want to start a business to fail and I didn't want to start a business to not to flounder or anything. I wanted to set myself up for success and I couldn't have done that, you know, without like my husband who is amazing and he, you know, there's a risk there when you quit a salary position to start your own business, you really are putting a lot of pressure on yourself and the clients and the work will come in and all of these things that can be, um, very daunting and overwhelming. So, you know, he was very, he never once told me not to do that. He was supportive and, you know, he financially took the helm on certain months where I wasn't, where it just, the work wasn't coming in. And, um, he even, you know, would take the kids to school and pick them up and stuff when I needed to work late. So that, you know, having all those, those, um, support systems in place is huge. I totally remember freaking out so many times in the beginning, just because, I didn't know what to do. I'm I'm so used to having people having the work there for me and now I have to find it and I have to chase my money and all of these other things that are that are preventing me from doing the work. There's a lot of that that I just kind of had to navigate through and it was really hard and it still is hard sometimes. Um but it's worth it because I'm growing like I learned so much about business and people and and relationships and stuff like that that I love it, you know, but um but it was really hard in the beginning. It was really hard for me to figure out what to, how to rely on myself. And I can remember just moving into Cottonwood, we had an event and my friend brought over a keg to have in my office for the event. Now I'd only been here a couple of days and they're installing a dual tapped keg in my office. And the, the executive director, John walks in and he's like, wow, what's up? We're going on. I was like, oh no, no, that's not mine. Don't worry about it. This is just for the event. It's going to go away. And I felt like I had to defend that keg being in my office. And I'm not, I wasn't used to not having someone to turn to. And he was like, it's okay, you know, type thing. And, and, um, that was really interesting. That was a kind of a turning point for me where I realized I don't have to really report to anybody, you know? And so that's kind of, um, that's important. Yeah. You're close enough to the starting point of your business still that some of these experiences are still really raw, but anyone who has started their own business has been there. Absolutely. So yeah. it's uh, it's cool to hear um, <laughs> the on the ground thoughts and, and reminders that it ain't easy, but once you get it rolling, it can really be awesome because you get to do what you love. So what are some of the best things about the work that you do? Um, well, I work... So I work with Meadowgrass Music Festival. That's probably one of my favorite projects. Um, I've been on the committee now for five or six years, and I do all of the design. And what that looks like is, you know, it's a good six months of the year. We're kind of in our busy season, and you get to come up with something that's really creative, and you get to kind of take it to all kinds of platforms and design for, you know, T-shirts and posters and also a lot of, technical things as well. It's kind of a fun project and you, I kind of get to do um, what I think is going to be best with the um, advisement of, you know, the board and the committee and stuff. But it's an opportunity for me to be really creative. And that's kind of what I need to recharge my batteries, I guess, or projects like that. And then um, is there a particular type of project that you prefer, that you love, that you want more of? What type of work really um, brings you alive? What type of work would you love to have more of? So we all, so I have um, a client that I work with regularly and he will need something done for him. And he kind of lets me figure out what that is. So he'll give me stuff and say, can you turn this into something nice? And I'll suggest things like gold foiling on the, and he's like, go for it. And so that's kind of like a dream client because you can kind of spend a little bit of money to create something really great. Um, it's really refreshing when you kind of working with tight budgets a lot and you don't have that luxury. So I think for me, I like doing stuff where I get to be creative and where you really get to cultivate that whole environment of creativity because you're not restricted by really tight budgets or 
time constraints. So when somebody's not in a huge hurry, that's always going to um, help me come up with a better product because I can, you know, invest a little more thought into it as opposed to somebody who needs something done right now, right now. Um, my, so, you know, I like those type of clients and those type of projects, but my favorite thing to really do is I work a lot with, with musicians <clears throat> and I really love that because they're kind of like me. They need to represent themselves. They're creatives. They, you know, come up with this beautiful music, but they don't know how to package it for the, the audience, but they, it, it may be very, very beautiful, great uh, sounding music, but that's all that it, it stops there for them. So you really get to take their sound and put a put a face to that. And that's really cool. I really love doing that because you really get to, you know, that's where I get to put some of myself into the work and where I get to really be artistic because I'm creating for art. And um, to be able to make the art and the visuals go hand in hand and to where that really works, that's something truly special. So, yeah, I really like doing that as well. Cool. 